Hello and welcome to another installment of You Can't Beat the Drums. Today I'm in my car once again to look at an inexpensive drum set, 150 bucks, that maybe I can buy, fix up, and sell to someone for what I have into it to bring a little joy to their lives and save another drum set from the ash heap of history by cleaning it up and polishing it up and making it presentable once again. Let's go take a look at it and see if it's something I want to tackle. Okay, so here we are in the actual building looking at the drums. And there's that extra snare drum that comes with the set. And then a little cymbal stand. There's an old uh, Zildjian cymbal there and some other pieces. And uh, and uh, so here's the owner been standing behind me there. So t what do you, you say you got these in a trade? That's correct. What did you trade for them? Uh, it was a guitar. Oh, you tried, really? A guitar for drums? And you're selling the drums? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, everybody knows drums are more fun than a guitar. There you go, got a little pedal in there. Well, that's pretty good. And then no drum thrown, right? So, yeah, these are these are kind of yeah, little on the little on the low end side there. But uh, I'm sure they're the ones that came with it. Yeah, and you said your price is a little negotiable, huh? Correct. Okay, well, how negotiable? Shoot me an offer. <laughs> All right, how about hundred bucks? One twenty-five. One twenty. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll pack them up, load them in the car, and we'll be off to the races. Thanks very much. No, you're welcome. So here we have the set loaded up, and there's a, a printer behind it, too, which I just bought at a store. That has nothing to do with the drums, however. You'll notice this comes with a 16-inch Zildjian concert symbol. Super heavy, 16-inch. So that's kind of an interesting symbol. And there's also a 13-inch, I think it is, off to measure it, 12 or 13-inch Zildjian splash in there, too, that looks from about the, you know, turn of the century. Anyway, fun little kit. We'll see if we can get her cleaned up and see what happens next. Those of you who have watched my videos before will recognize the sofa with the old bed sheet covering it. So the sofa won't be damaged by the drums. Of course, the sofa is already trashed because of Remo and uh, Benji, his litter mate there. Anyway, this set is interesting. The shells seem at first glance to be in pretty good shape. Uh, there's an extra snare drum that came with it. And also, I think these drumsticks came with it. And ironically, these are 7A regal tips, which are very hard to find. In fact, impossible to find right now. So I use this size myself. So that's a nice little addition. The free snare drum has a pretty worn out top head. It's extremely dirty and missing a couple of lug bolts. And then of course the snares are held on with the requisite packing tape. That's always good. The snares themselves don't look in bad shape. The bottom head is actually a batter head which I'll probably have to replace. My goal is to probably clean this drum up as best I can and get it looking as presentable as I can and sounding as good as I can and then selling it for a small amount just to help offset the price of the rest of the kit. Now the rest of the kit, as you remember, I managed to score for $120. So if I can even get $20 or $30 for that drum, I could conceivably get this thing down below $100 bucks initially for the cost. The, snare the rock wood you know you always ask the question who would well rock wood of course anyway need to get that polished up a little bit i'm not sure if i have to literally take this set completely apart like i have in so many other cases or if i can just kind of clean it up and maybe doing a little do a little buffing with it plus i'll want to make the heads look as good as possible this head's already pretty good a little comet little light cleaning will probably make that hood head look almost like new. The toms, this has very, very light wear on it. That's the bottom, of course. The top head still in pretty good shape. This is where the Griot's buffing machine will make these heads look almost like new as well. They're not really full of dents or anything, just stick marks. So I think those will probably clean up pretty nicely. The bass drum likewise seems to be in okay shape again probably buffing is called for i'll have to be careful not to over buff it like i did in the last <laughs> last set where i actually wrinkled the wrap which was annoying the cymbal stands again they're they're double braced but very very light duty hi-hat stand um it's fairly basic uh, although it's probably steady sturdy enough to keep it steady and, uh, you know, the pedal's not awful. The double brace is still pretty small. 
Speaking of small, there's Remo again. Hi, Remo. Yeah, there you are. Hi there. Anyway, so bass drum pedal, not bad. It's got the spikes. In fact, the hi-hat stand has a little spike too down there to kind of keep it in place, which is nice. Uh, bass drum pedal has two of spikes, single spring, but it's chain drive. So again, not, not bad. It's light duty aluminum foot pedal. Uh, it's either aluminum or maybe pot metal. <laughs> As you saw in the last initial look at this thing, these are just paper thin, you know, really inexpensive. So I don't know if I'll, I probably won't even use those for the Hyatt stand. So I'm going to try to find a couple of lower end Zildjian's like I have in the past to use for the Hyatt symbols. This, though, if you look at it, is actually a 13 inch crash and it's a Zildjian, a Zildjian. It's an older one, but. That's a pretty good sounding cymbal. Does not appear to have any cracks, uh, no real keyholing, uh, just a lot of dirt. So I'll get that thing polished up and looking nice. Here's another cymbal that is very, very cheap, which I may add as just an extra crash cymbal or something. But this is a nice cymbal here. This has a little keyholing. This is that very heavy 16 inch concert band. You can see it's a concert band Zildjian symbol. Again, it's a nice line. It's a, it's a high quality symbol. Whether I use it as a small ride symbol or a very weird crash symbol, I don't know. It's fairly valuable though because it is a good quality symbol with only slight keyholing and no cracks. I'm not sure what these black sticky things are. Maybe that's the sticky tape that used was used for holding on a big round piece of cardboard that says, you know, Joey and the Deweys or whatever the band name might have been. And then the requisite pillow inside. Maybe it's a, it looks like it might be a memory foam pillow. If it's a memory foam, then maybe it'll remember the song lists during the gig. All right, we'll start taking her apart, cleaning her up, and we'll see where we go from here. Something else I forgot to mention, there's an interesting uh, Give Blood sticker on the front of the bass drum. That will be coming off as well. I got the old CB700 snare polished up, got the lugs all done. And what I'm going to do is put these little pieces of foam rubber I cut off some packing material inside the lugs. You'll notice there's no dampening for those springs, which each little lug acts like a reverb tank. So you don't want that. Most good quality drums have some way of damping that spring. I just take a piece of foam and push it down around the spring before I put the lugs on. The shell, as you can see, is coming along nicely. This thing was so bad that in addition to the steel wool, before the steel wool in fact, I had to use this, which I had laying around in the garage. It's kind of a pad, wadding, moist kind of a thing that works pretty well to get gunk off of metal. I don't have much left as you can see, but it has a moisture in it which helped free up some of the just years and years of crud that were on these lugs and on the shell, and it worked really, really well. Once I get the get the uh, drum put together, you'll see how nice it looks. Well, the first snare drum is finished. This is the old CB. Remember what it used to look like in the early shots? It's just terrible. Now the thing looks beautiful. Thing is, the badge was half torn off, so it's no longer a CB700. I just uh, trimmed the <laughs> trim the edges. Now it's just a CB. Okay, But the bottom head, again, that uh, white that white head that uh, had the thin cheap head worked pretty well. The top head, as I showed you earlier, looks pretty good. You know, there's a little bit of discoloration, a couple areas where, where it uh, rubbed through, but that looks a whole lot better than it used to, that's for sure. And how does it sound? Well, I'll just use this crummy microphone in the phone that I've got here, and I'll let you, let you hear what it sounds like. It doesn't sound too bad at all. I don't know if you'll be able to tell with this crummy mic, but let's give it a shot.
surgery room once again for my symbol cleaning exercises. This time, besides the barkeeper's friend, which I love for polishing symbols, I'm going to try the Griot's Carnuba paste wax rather than the synthetic wax I've been using before. Helps maybe the uh, fingerprints come off the symbols a little easier. Not sure. We'll see when I get her all done. That's what it looks like now, the 13 inch. Also got the shop rag kind of stuff and then the Griot's microfiber cloth for finishing it off. So you add a little water, you gently rub the symbol. There's no logo to rub off on this one. The other one has the Zildjian logos and I'll have to see how much cleaning I can do and still have some shadow of the logo left. It's nice to have those logos on the symbol if possible, but if I have a choice between a crummy looking terrible symbol with a faded logo or a beautiful symbol with no logo, I think I'd probably take the latter. We'll see how that turns out, but first let's do the 13 inch. Here's the second symbol I'll be trying to polish. This is the heavy 16 inch Zildjian. I'm not sure if the logos will survive my polishing or not. We shall see. Stand by. So the logos, it looks like, will be going away, but I think it's worth it. This is the uncleaned logo side. Then I cleaned the bottom of it. Take a look at the difference. I mean, to me, I would rather see that without a logo than that with a logo. So I know everybody feels differently about this and I'll get a lot of hate mail because I'm cleaning it and the dirt makes it sound better, blah, 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 blah. But I'll tell you what, I think cleaning it makes it sound brighter, better. I like it and I sure like the looks. Okay, change of plan. I decided that those extra Zildjian symbols would go really well with the Tama kit that I bought. I'm going to do that in another video, get that all fixed up. And that's going to be a really nice kit with some really nice symbols. I thought if I bought a drum throne for this, which I did, and then clean it up, which I did, polish the symbols, which I did, I could sell this kit for like a hundred bucks because I can maybe sell the extra snare drum, make a little money back, although I had to put some money into the snare to get it presentable. I had to buy a new stand for it, an extra head, and I had to clean it all up. But that'll help offset some of the costs. So if I can sell this for 100 bucks, the cymbals, yes, they're very inexpensive, and they sound like really inexpensive cymbals. But if somebody bought this kit and then added a couple of nice cymbals to it, they'd have an okay kit. It doesn't sound that terrible. In fact, it sounds you know, pretty good, considering the heads are low-end Remos. So for $100, great starter kit for somebody. It's got everything you need. I'll throw in a couple sticks, drum key, and it, uh, it sounds like this.
tracks. Well, less than 12 hours after putting the ad up on Craigslist and the Facebook marketplace, I got a call. Somebody wants to buy the set and why not? It's a pretty good deal. The prospective buyer should be arriving soon. We'll have to meet him and see what he says about the kit. Hello, Hi, Chris. Come on in. You're here. Here, here, Joe. Here's Joe, drum set. Nice to meet you. Fantastic. Nice Come on in. So wow, you look like you got uh, you know loop there. Yeah, yeah. So tell me about uh, what happened. You're gonna be able to play drums with. Well, I'm gonna try. I'm uh, gonna work on it. I'm, I'm gonna get better. I guess the arms will probably be okay for a while. And those yeah. will hopefully be, be able to be therapeutic to play yeah. the drums. So tell me about the set. Why are you interested in the drum set? I've always wanted to learn. So you've never played before? Never. Oh, amazing. So are you going to take lessons or just teach yourself? I'm going to try to take lessons and teach myself a little bit. Oh, fantastic. That's great. Be good. So what, have you played other instruments before? No. Oh, wow. So this will be the first time. Well, it's a bucket list, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's take a look at them. There they are. Kind of like what you saw in the ad, I think. Yeah. I'm going to just adjust nice. these. Yeah, they're in really good shape. I got a really good deal on them, too, and that's the reason why I'm going to sell them for such a low price. But... Uh, I got, got a new pair of sticks for you too. Good. So let me just slide those out of the package. Let you know how they sound. The drum tone doesn't get very high. It's a rather low throne, but so some people like playing really low. I have really long legs and tend to play a little higher. But basically <laughs> for years yeah i've been playing for a while i'm kind of out of shape because i'm old but uh out of no. shape because you're old yeah i'm old and i'm just gonna try to start right now i think you'll do i think you'll do great all right well you want to load them up i'll, I'll even load them for you yeah how about that <laughs> all right sounds good well, how about if i pay you for them first i'd be i take that thank you very much yeah, thank you well another day another drum set finds a happy home if you subscribe to the channel and keep watching you'll see more of this kind of thing i like to buy these drum sets fix them up and uh, sell them to some deserving person for little or no profit. The point is that, you know, it makes good videos for my channel. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned. Next set's going to be a little higher priced, but it should be a real nice kit. Hopefully it goes to another really nice home.